Have you seen this trending three in one hair bonnet? This is one bonnet you can style in three different beautiful ways. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very easy method that you can use to achieve this. I'll be sharing with you the materials you need and the measurements you need to achieve this easily. Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have my materials already and for this, this is light stretchy crepe. I have half yard of this. For the other materials, I got one yard each of door face. So I'll just keep the brown aside while we work with the other. So I've already cut this out and for the cut out, all you have to do is to cut out a material that is 30 inches wide on both the height and the width, okay? So I'll just make sure the other side so you understand what I'm saying. As you can see, it is also 30 inches on the side. So your cut out should be 30 inches all around to get a square, alright? So I'll go ahead to place this on fold and I'm going to place this on another fold like this. So I'll just flip it to the part that is most comfortable for me. I'll be working with the closed part. The open part should be the down. So I'll place my tape on the tip of my fold like so. And I'm going to be marking out 15 inches. So I'll just move my tape from there, still placing it at the top. I'll flip it at the side like so and mark 15. All you have to do is place your tape at the tip, mark out 15, okay? So that's what I will do. And I will just make sure that my dot is not too far away so that I can easily connect it to get a nice curve. Then I'll go ahead to cut this out. When you cut this out, you are going to get a cycle like so. I place this cut out on my brown material and I cut out a cycle again on the brown material. So I face this right side facing right side. And I'm going to go ahead to sew this all around. So while you sew this all around, you're going to leave 1.5 inches on sewn. Okay, I'll be showing you the essence of that as we continue. So I've sewn this, leaving 1.5 inches on sewn. On that on sewn part, you are going to flip your fabric to the right side. All you have to do is to pull it out through that point as you see me do. So after you have flipped it, you go ahead to iron this down, give it a very good press so that it will be relaxed. So after ironing, I went ahead to top stitch that open 1.5 inches part and I also went ahead to create a line. This line you are seeing is 1.5 inches from the top. All I did was measure 1.5 inches and I sewed it all around. While you make this top stitching, please ensure that your thread is of the same color with the top part and of the same color with the down part so that your stitch will not be too obvious. So for the pleats, you have to make a perfectly relaxed pleat, all right? And you have to make sure that you are top stitching on your ready stitch line. So I'll go ahead to make a pleat like you see me do. Just make sure that your pleat is relaxed and it's not forcing to lay flat. So you top stitch on your already stitch line. So take your time at this please and make sure your pleat is relaxed. Yes, your iron would help, but if your pleat is not relaxed when you are pleating it, your iron will not do so much justice. Just make sure that the pleat is relaxed and of equal size and make sure you are top stitching on your ready stitch line because you will not want numerous lines. For the last um, pleat, Make sure that it is even with the other pleat sizes and you go ahead to stitch this all through. So when you are done with this, you go ahead to give the pleat a nice press. So on my stretching material, I cut out a band and the height of this band is 10 inches while the width of this band is 18 inches. This is not a constant. It depends on how stretchy your fabric is. Your cut out should be able to stretch to up to 32 inches so that it can size a grown person's head. So I'll go ahead to place this on fold and I'm going to sew the sides together. After sewing the sides, I'll place it on fold on the right side to get a band for the head. So I've gone ahead to iron my cap, but before we fix our band, I would go ahead to pin the two stitch folds together, just pin it together and that will be functioning as the back part. I'll place the cap on fold and I'm going to mark the sides like so. Then I'll place it on fold, placing the two mark points together like this. And I would also mark the other corner like so. That way I have four corners on my cap now. 
So this will help us when we are fixing our band. I have a total weight of 12.5 on my pleated cap. So at least you have an estimate when you are making yours. So this mark will be helping us. But before you fix the band, you also go ahead to pin the center of your band, okay? Then you place the front center and the back center together. And you also go ahead to pin the side. I would have notched it or just used my chalk, but it would not show since the material is white. So I'll just pin it with pins instead. So I also have four corners on my band as well. To fix the band, you just make sure that the closed part of your band is facing up while the open part is facing down. Then you go ahead to pass your band through the cap like so to the top of your cap or to the pleated point. Then the next thing to do, you are going to be pinning this all around the cap. You are going to ensure that your band exceeds your ready stitch line by half of an inch. It should exceed it by half of an inch. Then you go ahead to pin this up. While you are pinning this up, you ensure that you are pinning this to one of the points. Okay, you pin this to one of the points. Remember, I have four mark points on the cap and I also have four pin points on my band. So I'll go ahead to pin this accordingly. The essence of pinning this is to ensure that one part of your cap does not have more stretch effect than the other part. And it should be pinned half inches above your stitch. So next, I'm going to go ahead to sew this. And to sew this, all you have to do is to stretch it as you sew, all right? And make sure you are using a lining color of thread. Like the thread you are using should be same color with the up and same color with the down. And when you are stitching this, you should face it at this point here. This point that does not have the band so that you will not have a problem of your pleats being altered. The most important thing is for you to stretch this as you sew and remember to top stitch on your already stitch line. You should follow your first stitch line so that you will not have too many stitches on your cap. So here I am done sewing this and this is what it looks like. So when you flip this like so to the right side you will not be seeing a stitch here and when you also flip this like this to the other side your pleats will be covering the other stitch at the down so you might be noticing that your pleat is squeezed but do not panic all you have to do is to iron it and it will come out nice thank you so much for watching guys see you in my next video bye